Rothkoff now. He's the CEO and editor of the FP Group, which publishes Foreign Policy Magazine. David, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So uh, tell us about that determining our success or failure. Uh, it is our response. What do you think our response has been so far? Well, I, I think our response to terror so far has not been terribly successful. We're 13 years after or 14 years after 9-11, and last year we saw more terrorist groups, more terrorist attacks, more terrorist casualties than at any time during the period. And I have every reason to believe that in the year ahead we'll see even more. So what we've been doing clearly isn't working. By the same token, when you have attacks like we have had in the past week, one of the things we have to be careful of is uh, overreacting, uh, pulling back, for example, from expressing ourselves freely. Uh, there have been people in the media in the past week who attacked the editors at uh, Charlie Hebdo for uh, their positions and said they were irresponsible in running uh, these offensive attacks. We can't let terrorists determine what it is that is run in our media. We can't let them set the tastes of our time. Uh, and that's another risk that we get in this kind of a situation. Which is why we're seeing more than 50 global leaders gathering in France right now, marching live to, uh, uh, to, to go against the, the terrorist act. What do you think the impact of this will be uh, as we see a million people grieving a after that attack? Well, I think it's inspiring to see a million people. I'm not so sure about the 50 leaders. There are people among those 50 leaders who have been uh, sponsoring and helping the terrorists. You have a representative of the Turkish government there, for example, uh, that's been cutting the terrorists a lot of slack. You've got others there uh, allegedly marching uh, in the name of freedom of the press who have regimes that uh, are actually pretty tough on the press, Turkey again among them. So uh, I, I think we should look at it. We should be moved by it. We should see the solidarity of the French people as a very positive sign. But politicians, uh, as it happens, tend to often act uh, for purely political reasons. What do